All right, so Sierra Showdown. In the blue corner, we have Ustad Shabir. And in the red corner, we have Dr. Salah. So, um, miss to five. First to five wins. There's nothing to win, but you get Except for honor and, <laughs> and, and, and prestige. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But actually, I have a disclaimer. Even though I'm extremely competitive, I'm so bad under pressure, I think I'm just going to capitulate and implode. So I'm like, right. think a clean sweep. This means by this nah, 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 nah. Over here. This, this is this is coming from someone who's just done a a thousand hour <laughs> you know this. research on Sira, Subhanallah. Very, so. Very <laughs> so first to five wins. Bismillah. Question one. Let's let's take it nice and easy. By the way, if you want to answer the question, the first to the mic. By the way, yeah. So okay. um, wait. is it close enough? I think you're wait, wait. closer. Go on now. No, okay, go. <laughs> question one. Which month? Was the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam born? Go for it, go for it. No one. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, if you read the book, there's a difference ah, of opinion. There we go. There we go. There we go. Some even say Ramadan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, trick question. Trick question. There you Good go. stuff. Okay, go for it. One nil. I thought you were competitive. But anyway, right. Yeah. Let's 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 raise it a little bit. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Let's raise the levels a bit. Name the wet nurses of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. All of them? Like every single one? Okay, uh, maybe I shouldn't pick up the mic, but I'm gonna go with uh, the uh, the obvious, which is Hadima Saadiya, Radilanha. Uh, I'm gonna go with um, Um Ayman, Baraka. I'm gonna add in Thuwaiba. Mm -hmm. I'm not adding any more to that, by the way. <laughs> I'm looking this way just to, to just to see if he um, yeah, yeah adds anything or no. And, I think um, yeah, yeah, and I'm gonna probably stop there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no, I have no more to add to that. I'll accept that. I'll yeah, accept that. Alhamdulillah. So it's one one. Question three. <clears throat> what is the famous opinion regarding to how many times Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's chest was split open? Uh, Twice. Okay, um, bonus point. Um, when? Well, when he was a child, okay. and when he um, uh, began is Al Isra al Ma'raj. Yeah. Two one. Yeah. Come on, this is a big sheikh over here, boy. You need Fair to play. start Fair making play. it spicy. Let's 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 Abu Lahab. Was that was Abu Lahab? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say what's coming to my mind is Al As bin Wail. That's that's my Tarji. Oof. <laughs> that's the that's the answer I had pinned down. Okay, خلاص. That's what comes to my mind, but I think I over, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I have I, I've I've heard of um I have heard of this opinion that it was Abu Jahl as well. But no, I said Abu Lahab. Abu Lahab, Abu Lahab sorry, yeah. yes, Abu Lahab. This is the correct answer according right, to you. Yeah? There you go. Two, so two, two all. Two, this two, is okay. getting this is getting quite competitive. <laughs> yeah, two all. I haven't well punched anyone yet. <laughs> okay. Um. Right. Which wife of Prophet Muhammad sallam was initially named Barra? Oh, a name comes to mind, but I, I, I'm not sure. I just it's just. It, a name comes, comes to mind. mind. Go 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 for it. Name comes to mind. Barra. D do we? Uh, Am I allowed to give any hints? Go Should for it. Hint? Yeah, we'll go for it. Um, she was from the tribe Banu Mustaliq. Ah, uh, right. Okay. So if it's Banu Mustaliq, if it's Banu Mustaliq, then it must be Juwaidia. Yes. Three two. Right. Three two. That's, that was a good question. That was a good question. Can't lie. Three two. And what I was thinking was wrong. <laughs> so okay. your your clue gave it gave it away. Right. Alhamdulillah, right, so I need to reclaim my I'm honor. edged forward now mm. Edged forward Maybe you can kind of get back into the game with this yeah, uh, for it. Which two tribes were involved in the nullification of the Treaty of Hudaybiyah? The nullification of Hudaybiyah? Oh, right, okay, as in okay, yeah. that incident, okay Oh, okay That's, that's I've stopped them both <laughs> I'm winning here It was I don't that's a tough one. Well, not even Ibn Adi, but what, what what tribe then? Which two tribes? Two, which two tribes triggered? Adi. An incident happened which kind of 
Oh. A nullification in a sense that, mm. right, you know what, it's... Um, no, I know exactly what you're talking about now. It's, uh, it's free for all now. Because it was headed by... What are you going to And... It's actually one of them. Maybe then that one we triggered other one. Well, we're talking about who they be at right now. Yeah. The, the, but the, the one where the here. scroll was... Uh, right, right, right. No, as, in, as in the no, boycott. No. No, no, no. The Treaty of Hudaybiyah. Oh, no. I'm getting confused. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about the boycott. Same. I'm thinking of the, the, treaty, the, the treaty between the Muslims and oh. the Quraysh. The treaty. So which tribes so are... Prior to, so... This that, okay, that changes of, it completely. Yeah. Okay. Let me yeah, reword yeah. it. Let me reword okay. it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about the same thing, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Which two tribes were involved in the nullification of the Treaty of Hudaybiyah? By the way, he says... Which led to... Which led to <laughs> repeat the, the same. Which led to the conquest of Mecca. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I understand the question. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. Have you understood? But it? when you say the two, the two so, tribes, right, are you excluding Quraysh? Because Quraysh, technically, well, I mean, they were, they were some of the younger yeah, the, Quraysh. The, the, yeah, but who did they support? They supported someone. Oh, yeah, yeah, someone. yeah. Go on, Doctor Salah. Hawazin. No. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. Let me tell you one. One of them were Banu Khuzaa. Was it Khuzaa? Okay. We're flopping, bro. Yeah, flopping. Banu Khuzaa and. Khuzaa and. Is it, is it like something. Kilab or something? Kal no. Okay, no. That, that's what I think. I think we're flopping in this one, bro. Yeah, yeah. It was Banu Bakr. Banu Bakr. Bakr. I wasn't going to get that one. Bakr. <laughs> Banu Bakr and Banu Khuzaa. Okay. Fair enough. That's, that's a good yeah. question. I'm going to be because okay. um, it's getting a bit too spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, good. The Banu Khuzaa. Pledge allegiance with the Muslims and yeah, 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 with the, yeah, and right, rallied gotcha. them to defend them. Yeah, I well understand. Oof, okay, this. when I'm sweating, this is a what's the score? Shameful, it's two. three two, it's still three two, it's, it's still three two. Oh my god, <laughs> 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 no, I don't know, I don't know want to get, I don't want to get, um, make it too, uh, yeah. too technical, otherwise, and I'm gonna have to start doing maths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, let's make it a little bit more easy now. Um, that's peak that he said that. We're going, <laughs> come on. <laughs> The name of the 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 camel of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So, okay. As in, where you go? Yeah. The famous name? Yeah. Yeah. The famous yeah. name. Um, what's wrong with me? See, this is I'm not gonna pressure. It's right there. It's uh, well, if you both go for it. I, I was gonna let you nah, get nah, back go, into it. Nah, go. No, come on. I don't, that sympathy oh, is. Uh, <laughs> it's not sympathy, Habibi. It's yeah. it's just. No, no, no. I'm not having any of that. All right. Yeah. Uh, Kaswa. Yeah. Yeah. So four two. That so, was very. That was very easy. It's been a long day. I'm a traveler. I'm a traveler. It's been a long day. It's hot. Don't worry. It's all right. It's okay. Oh, no, no, no. It's still it's extra, extra time. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> VAR. <laughs> yeah. It's match point to... Uh, Let's do it. 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 Which two verses were revealed um, in the night of uh, Isra' wal Mi'raj? Oh. Oh. Muhammad directly. Okay. I love this one. Can I take it? Oh god. <laughs> Dr. Sar's taken it. Um it was the last verse of Surah Baqarah. Or oh, the last two verses yeah. of Surah Baqarah. Yeah, last two verses. Oh. Ustad, would you like to give us a little qira'ah of the last two verses? Bismillah. It's fairly long, but go on. I I will give a bit inshallah. It's fine, Bismillah. <clears throat> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين Just briefly what the verses entail because they're very powerful verses Yes, yeah, subhanAllah So I, I, I love it because obviously the, the background, you know is the only verses that were revealed, not on this earth, but subhanAllah, it's Prophet received it as a gift when he went to, when he went for that amazing meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it's, it's, a, it's, it's ultimately, it's a dua. I mean, the, the, the part I began with was, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he does not uh, over, 
burden or tax a soul more than it can take, more than it can bear, uh, which ties in beautifully with the seerah, subhanAllah. Uh, but then it's a dua, you know, Rabbana la tu'akhidna in nasina. If we, oh Allah, if we forget, and if we make a mistake, then don't hold us to, to account for it. Um, which is an amazing dua because we make countless mistakes uh, every single day, right? Uh, don't, 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 don't place any burden on us, that's too much to bear. Um, and oh Allah, you know, forgive us, pardon us, protect us from, from, from the disbelieving people, right? Um, you know, in a nutshell, there's some amazing, beautiful gems and du'as in that verse. Dr. Salah, okay. anything to add about specifically about Isra wal Mi'raj? Anything that you remember from your research? Yeah, I mean, uh, well, we need we need another podcast for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you said, this was a um, gift from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So much so that um, with in the Yusra, with difficulty comes ease, and this immediately followed Amil uh, Husn, the year of sorrow, mm. and the Prophet Ali was in his lowest, and so so Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gave him the, the loftiest gift was was to come as well Allah Subhanahu wa Taala directly. Mm. So we see we, we, sometimes we view um, um, Al Isra wal Mi'raj uh, maybe in an academic way to say when mm. what day did it happen okay but why did it happen um it was a gift from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and honestly like the imagery the lot tree um jibreel alayhi salam the story and then the meeting of the prophets you're gonna have to read the book for that one yeah. because that's really like a, a wonderful chapter yeah yeah and with that we have a winner. We have a winner. A, a clear winner. Allah, 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 the better man won. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I fluked that. <laughs> Victory. We have, to, we, have to, we, have to, we have to do it again. I think we do. But this time with me traveling to Dr. Salah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know how it is. I know how it is. Yeah. Victory speech? No victory speech. Buy the books. Yeah. Brought the props I learn, right? <laughs> Start your Sira journey. <laughs> that, that, that is it. That is it. Amazing questions, by the way. Nice. Thank you. Anything you want to finish up? Uh, Actually, any? yes. Um, this goes to show, and subhanAllah, look, we, I, I, you know, I was heavily involved in this book, mm -hmm. and these are still my notes, me reading it again. And it just goes to show, like, within a year, you're asking me questions, and I have to think, oh, can I remember that or not? And it's the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you do not keep knowledge without revision whether it's mm. the quran whether it's the sunnah whether it's anything you, you can't just memorize the quran and then say okay i've done it now mm. you would forget that quicker than you would forget other knowledge because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want to make you complacent we have mm. to continuously um revise and revive the knowledge and, and and i really felt it with this book sometimes i read it and thought i think wow who, <laughs> who wrote this? <laughs> this is not bad this is <laughs> and that's after you write never mind when you read it so yeah um, Allah demands from us that we continue our uh, journey of knowledge until the grave. That's amazing. It really is. Advice. Yeah. And that's a wrap. Till next time. I it's think we have yeah. a showdown part two. <laughs> Leave comments in the section, uh, in the comment <laughs> section. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave comments in the comment section if you want a round two. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leave comments in the comment section. Round two. Yeah. Inshallah.